It's Cynthia Hayhauer and Matt. Have it. Please give us more. <laughs> <laughs> the email I sent you Friday, I had promised hard copies of some of those items. So I'm keeping my promise. This is one uh, additional item. Mr. Chairman, I'm going to turn on your agenda for the City of Payton. Um, the first one pertains to one property. The next three items are three separate requests but for the same project. Let's start with the first one, which is agenda item number three. This is a variance request by Cheryl Godfrey, uh, requesting two variances to the front yard and also the rear yard setback um, for residential property in R10 zoning. See on the map and screen and in your packet, this is a Unusual lot is what we call an end cap, uh, has three street frontages, has an existing residence on the eastern side of the property. Uh, the applicant is wanting to construct a new dwelling on the western side of the property, and then once that is finished, demolish the existing building and move into the new one. Um, the problem is there is only 80 feet of depth between the northern property line and the southern property line, and that's a place to a front and rear yard. Um, and you subtract the required setbacks from the front and rear and you're only left with about 10 or 15 feet of buildable area. So in order to put a house there by today's standards, something is got to give. Um, the applicant, here's a survey and then there's also a sketched in site plan. Uh, they're proposing to honor the intent of the front yard setback but shift the house toward the rear. Uh, what's interesting is if you look at the overall area, the pattern of lots, uh, property immediately to the south of where the proposed house is supposed to locate. Um, that, of course, only has one street frontage and it has a side yard they would observe. Um, so the house to the south would only need to be 10 feet from the property line, but for this lot by code, and since it's a rear yard for them, it's a 30 foot setback. And what the applicant is proposing is to situate the house 18 feet from that property line, which is a 12 foot encroachment. So they would be 18 feet away. The prospective new house on the other lot could be as close as 10 feet away. So they're still way beyond what the minimum requirement would be if this were a side yard instead. Um, and that would be the case if this were not a corner lot with three street frontages. Um, so given the situation, um, the abundant size of the property, um, the narrow configuration in terms of shallowness between front and rear, um, staff is recommending approval of this subject to a couple of conditions. Um, and actually here we see some pictures of the property. There's, there's the existing house. Um, first condition is, variances shall be approved for a reduced front yard setback of 30 feet from the north property line and a reduced rear yard setback of 16 feet from the south property line. Um, the reason for that, Mr. Chairman, like we talked about the work session, is by the numbers on their site plan, it is a very tight fit. Um, the front and rear lines are not perfectly parallel to each other. So staff believes that if approved as simply requested, the house is going to be, uh, end up being a few inches over the line, either way or both. So the recommendation here is to give them a one foot cushion on either side in which to actually situate the house physically. Um, number two, the existing home on the subject property shall be vacated and demolished by the applicant within 30 days of completion and successful final inspection of the new home by the city. Um, in other words, R10 zoning only allows one house at a time. So once the new one's finished, 30-day clock starts to then get rid of the older house and move into the new one. Are yeah. you glad to answer any questions you may have? Anyone on the board have any questions or staff? I just I want to make a verification here in paragraph just above in the center of the page it talks about the zoning for this lot was pre 
pre-zoning for a higher. So this it was zoned after this lot was here. That pertains to the entire neighborhood, I presume. Correct. This is an older dwelling that predates a higher zoning or it's back. So the there's place. many houses in there that have been grandfathered in with setback. So this, uh, and the reason I'm bringing this up is because we're going to talk about, you know, uh, hardship and, and bring them into compliance when they're in a non-compliant neighborhood and just Okay. Right. And most of that is the neighborhood to the south behind. Yeah. Not so much along this part of West Look Park at those property lines. Some of them look like they're almost going through people's houses. Right. Look at your map. And like you see on the site plan, that existing dwelling is only about 10 feet from the property line. Very, very close. Um, and what they're proposing is to keep your typical front yard for an R10 district, which is good. Any other questions? Now we need to go to the audience. Uh, let's call for those wishing to speak in favor of this request. Anyone here wishing to speak in favor of this request? Come forward, state your name and address, ma'am. We haven't heard anyone here yet. So. I'm Sharon Blackburn, I'm a property owner, that's requested in advance. Okay. Anybody have any questions? Okay. All right. Thank you, Ms. Gunn. Mm -hmm. Now we will speak, anyone wishing to speak against this request? Anyone in the audience wishing to speak against this request? We'll see none. Commissioners, I will turn it over to you for further discussion and a vote. I would just have one additional comment if I could. When we talk about hardship, I know that they've listed in here property lines and three driveways, but there's also personal hardship. The intent is to tear down the house. If they would have to rebuild it where it's being torn down, they would either have to rent a trailer, rent a place to store some things, move to bring it into compliance in a non-compliant neighborhood. I think that constitutes a, a hardship even greater than the fact that it's on three different highways. I, I'm just saying that. I don't, so I'm certainly in favor of this. That's all. Any other comments by the commissioner? In this case, I'll entertain a motion. Well, Mr. Chairman, I would make a motion that we recommend to the council to approve uh, the request for the variance with the hardships that were stated and the two existing conditions. Do I need to read those or do you have them on record? You got them on record. I recommend we recommend approval to the AIC. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second. All those in favor, raise your right hand. Thank you, Mr. Carmel. Thank you all very much.